Hello everyone and welcome back to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. So today we're going to be reviewing 13th Colony Distillers. 13th Colony is based out of Americus, Georgia. They first opened their doors in 2009, becoming the first legal distillery in the state to open since Prohibition. So guys, uh, I'm really, really excited to get into these. I think we have a big surprise in store. So without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the Southern Bourbon Whiskey. Now this one is aged for a minimum of 4 years, comes in at 95 proof, and has a mash bill of 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. And speaking of grains, they actually get their grains from less than 10 miles away from the distillery. Um, it's bottled here, right at the distillery. Um, it's one thing that I really, really like and respect is that everything is done right within the state, um, right there near the distillery. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the color on this guy extremely dark very very dark for something that's aged for a minimum of four years i absolutely love the color it is a dark uh very dark copper color on here very very dark copper coats the glass very well for a 95 proof bourbon let's go ahead and get into the nose just a a really rich like cherry caramel on the nose getting a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of cinnamon in there there's like this other dark fruit in there besides a besides a cherry i almost want to say it's like a maybe like a blackberry definitely a lot of fruitiness going on there's a, a sweet corn that, that i'm picking up a little bit further into the glass Yeah, definitely getting that that sweet corn a little bit further in there, um, kind of lets you know it's it's still a little on that young side, but fantastic nose. Get a really nice cherry, nice bold, rich caramel. All right, guys, let's get into the palate. Cheers. Man. So that 21% rye on the palate, you definitely get a little spice burst. Covers the whole palate from the front and to the back. Kind of dies down. Then it starts to just become very viscous and oily in the mouth, being a 95 proofer. Really, really nice, sweet. There's that, that, you know, I got that cherry on the nose. Very sweet cherry there on the front of the palate. Not too much citrus um, on the sides of the palate. A little bit of like a, a leather. Very, very little bit of leather there, like on the on the mid palate. Again, that, uh, that spiciness just kind of, you know, flowed through the whole palate all the way into the finish. Died down, became very oily. Really, really nice. You know, really, really nice flavors on, on the front middle of the palate a little bit of that like dried leather note some baking spices in there maybe a little bit of nutmeg there towards the back let's go for a second sip yeah there is definitely a really nice cherry note right there on the front of the palate i get a very sweet butterscotch note right there from the middle of the palate right into the finish. There's that spice that's just kind of like slightly there through the whole thing covering the palate. Becomes very oily and viscous. You get a little bit of that sweet corn there too on the middle of the palate. Letting you know that's still, you know, a little uh, a little youthful. But this thing is packed full of flavor. It is packed full of flavor. There's a nice, you know, with that with that cherry on the front, there's still like a really nice vanilla there, too, on, on the front. That butterscotch, that butterscotch is just right into the middle to the back of the palate. Man, that is nice. It's a, it's a short, short to medium uh, finish. Doesn't last very long, so it makes you want to go back and sit more and more and more. 
Again, lays across the palate very, very well for a 95 proof. Drinks consistent, same flavors. Some cherry. Definitely, definitely that cherry note right on the front. Some of that very, like, uh, slight hint of dry leather there in the middle. Butterscotch developing there into the middle of the palate, onto the finish. And the, the, the finish is, again, the, vin it, the finish is, is short, you know, short to medium. But the flavors just sit, it, they just sit right there on the top of the tongue. That, you know, the, the spice from that rye, it just slowly just ever so you know fades and then those flavors just really start to start to develop and they start to sit there on the palate really really good bourbon here okay um you know i the flavors that come from this this bourbon here um are just i i really really enjoy um this bourbon i wish i could find this uh somewhere near me i really really enjoy this bourbon um if you guys are out and about if you live in georgia and you haven't tried this i i highly recommend it um again you know being a, a young whiskey and having a great nose great color and then a great mouth you know great mouthfeel great flavors uh balance between that that uh, that sweet and that spice it's something that i really want the you know really nice finish and that that butterscotch on the middle of the palate the cherry on the front a little bit of leather um, amazing, amazing uh, bourbon here from 13 Talon Distillers. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the Southern Rye Whiskey. Now, this one comes in at 95 proof, has a mash bill of 96% rye and 4% malted barley, and it was also aged using custom French oak wood spirals. So let's go ahead and get into the color here. Again, very, very dark, very similar to that of the bourbon. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter on this one. So medium to dark copper color. Again, very, very uh, similar to that of the bourbon. Coats the glass very well. It's very oily. Again, 95 proof. Lots of oil happening. Very oily. Let's get into the nose. Yeah, one of the first things I get on the nose is a lot of citrus. There's a lot of lemon on this one. There's an herbal quality to it, too. Maybe a little like eucalyptus. Maybe like a, a green, like almost like a green tea note. A nice like underlying vanilla note there though. Kind of offset some of those uh those herbal those herbal uh notes there. A lot of citrus though. A lot of just fresh citrus. Like a like a, a fresh lemon peel. Let's get into the palate, guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, what's crazy is I'm not getting, you know, I'm not getting a lot of the rye spice from that first sip. I almost feel like I got more bite off of the bourbon than I did the rye but this one is just it's packed full of flavor there's a lot of lemon on the sides of the palate brown sugars dominate the front of the palate again that rolling into that citrus a lot of that lemon right on the sides of the palate there and then it's finish you know, again finish is is you know medium medium to short um, it goes by pretty quick but again, it leaves your mouth, it leaves your mouth, you know, oily. It has a really nice oily finish to it. Not as much as the bourbon, um, but this, again, it leaves it very, very oily. Love the brown sugar on the front of the palate. Very, very sweet. Vanilla bean. Brown sugars into that, uh, like rolling right into that citrus. The rye spice is still just kind of sitting there a little bit. It, again, it's not as bold and, and, and hard hitting as that bourbon was. Let's get into the, the second sip, guys. It 
So that second sip is just, there's chocolate developing on the back of the palate. Brown sugars are there, that lemon zest, definitely there. But now is when I start to get this chocolatey mint on the back of the palate. And it reminds me of like one of the Andes, the Andes mints, that chocolate and that mint combined on the end. It's so crazy because, you know, the flavors don't continue to roll through the entire palate. Like the brown sugars are just sitting there on the, on the front of the palate. Very, very sweet. The vanilla bean, the brown sugars. And then it stops. And then it goes right into this, this you know, fresh uh, lemon, just right on the sides of the palate. Very, very fruity on the sides of the palate. And then it stops. And then it goes right into this milk chocolate, almost actually like dark chocolate. It's almost like a little bitter like a bitter chocolate and mint that develops onto the back end and into the finish. Again, rye spice is very, very minimal. It's very, very minimal. And it's just, it barely just sits there on the tongue. It just lets you know it's there. Let's get into the last sip. Again, consistent. Consistent in that flavor. Vanilla bean, brown sugars on the front of the palate. Just lemon peel, lemon peel, lemon peel, lemon peel on the middle of the palate, right on the sides. Stops, develops into this Andes mint on the finish. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's sweet on the front. It's very citrusy, mouth-watering on the sides. And then it's just this dessert as it goes into the finish. With that, that Andy's mint, that, 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 you know, it's, it's more of a dark chocolate than it, than it is a milk chocolate. Cause you're getting, it's definitely, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bitter. And then there's that mint combined in there. It is like, it's, it's like drinking uh, a very, very sweet, fruity, um, you know, on, on the front and mid. And then right into the end is like this just chocolatey minty, um, dessert. Amazing. Amazing rye here. I, I really, really enjoy the flavor profile of this rye. I really enjoy this. Again, same as the bourbon. If I could find another one of these, um, I would I would definitely buy this thing. Um, very, very good, flavorful, desserty, um, desserty rye. It's not a rye that's going to smack you with a ton of spice, but it's going to smack you with a ton of flavor because this thing is just, it's flavorful. Um, yeah, I wish the, the finish was a little bit longer. But it's so good. The, the finish is so good on it. Just all, I mean, even from the front to the middle to the back of the palate. So good. Um, again, sweet, very sweet on the front. Citrusy, fresh citrus right on the sides of the palate. And then right into the finish is this just dessert style. You know, just like an Andes. It's like an Andes mint. It, it is literally like an Andes mint with that, that dark chocolate. A little bitter. Um, and then, of course, the, the, the mint there in the end. Fantastic rye whiskey here from 13th Colony Distillers. Well, I thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you to the folks over at 13th Colony Distillers for supplying me with the bottles to review on the channel. I want to tell you guys, you can find these, you know, if you can find these in your market, uh, again, they range from $30 to $35. I would buy these all day, every day. They are both that good, in my opinion. Um, the nose is fantastic. The palate is fantastic. Beautiful color to them, um, and they're still fairly young. And uh, you know, for being a for being a craft distillery, uh, you know, these these things are both fantastic. They they really are. Um, tons of flavor on both of them. Just very very unique flavors. Very very different from your typical bourbon, your typical rye. Um, really really nice mouthfeel on both of these. I, mean, I I really can't say enough about these two. Um, I would love to see what would happen if these were bottled at, you know, barrel strength or if they, you know, had single barrel offerings of these. I would love to see what that would do um, to, to the flavors on these guys. Absolutely fantastic stuff from 13th Colony Distillers. I highly recommend um, if you guys are near them or can order from them, I highly recommend you give them a try. Um, I can tell you I, I would buy these uh, again and again as a daily drinker, guys. Um, so with that being said, if you guys are looking for more reviews like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams.
You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys, stay dusty.